Hey guys, it's Jaybird with Jaybird Fishing. In the comments section, Luke had mentioned he wanted to see some sea bass fishing. So I drove down to the Jersey Shore to do some sea bass fishing. We also went fluke fishing. To start, for the sea bass, we went past Sandy Hook and we fished the ocean side. After that, we came back inside the bay to do some fluke fishing. I ended up getting seasick while we were sea bass fishing so I gave the camera to the captain so that he could record the action. When we came back into the bay, I felt better, so I took the camera back and started recording our fluke fishing. On this trip, the captain, his son, the captain's friend, and his girlfriend, in simple terms, everybody outfished me today in both fluke and sea bass, but I hope you guys still enjoy the upload. And the captain got his personal best on the air. So congrats to him. All right, guys, let's get to the action. Right here, the captain is showing us that we're fishing in 43 feet of water. That's the structure and the bait fish and the sea bass that were below us. This clip right here is me catching my first sea bass. I ended up fishing maybe 30 minutes before I got sick. Um, so the captain's going to take over after this clip. The next couple clips are going to show the action that we experienced while we were sea bass fishing. You'll see that we're pulling up fish after fish, and it was just a matter of finding the right size. We had a lot of boats around us today. It must have been a very popular spot that everyone was aware of. The tackle for today was very simple. It was a high-low with clam on both hooks. Small little circle hooks with maybe a four ounce sinker and that did the trick for us today.
After this hook set, the captain thought he had a nice keeper on, but he's going to get tricked, and you're going to see why. After this clip, we're going to transition into the fluke fishing part of the trip. Um, the tide ended up becoming real slack, and the bite shut off. So we switched gears and started fluke fishing back in the bay. Um, so after this clip, we're going to jump into the fluke fishing, and it's going to be the captain's girlfriend and the captain himself hooking two wonderful fluke. So let's watch that now. Yeah, well, I let it back down. I apologize guys that I haven't had a lot of kayaking trips this year. The wind and the weather just haven't been cooperative. It's been safer to fish in a boat so far this year. I'm hoping to get back in the kayak soon. You're just busting her chops, huh? I'm gonna late. Holy shit, get the net. Get the net. Do you want a bigger net? No, just get the net. We'll see if I was recording for it. If not, we all saw it in person. When the clip started, I wasn't sure if I was recording, so I ended up turning the clip off, thinking I was turning it on for the first time. I was untangling my line with the captain's girlfriend's line, so I ended up shutting the clip off at the most important part when the fish was coming to the surface. The captain was really cool about it. He just wanted the fish in the net because it was his personal best on the year. Um, so I'm glad he was super cool about it, and he was super pumped to land the fish. Um, so congratulations to you, buddy. He's 25 and or 26. That's bigger than my 24. I look forward to seeing you soon. Fish ended up being 25. Monster fish. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to see future content like this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Happy 4th of July to everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video.